is actually not bright. It is very rainy this morning. I am just cooking some breakfast. I just made my coffee. And um, today is going to be a get your life together type of a day. So I've got cleaning to do and I've got some major grocery shopping to do. So while breakfast is cooking, I'm about to make my grocery list. It has been a morning full of meetings and now I'm going to do some skincare. Um, I always do really bad at my skincare when I'm traveling and we just got back from kind of a long weekend so I am kind of ready to get like back into my skincare routine and I'm also just feeling kind of like gross today so I don't know I might change might do something different with my hair I'm not vibing with this situation Okay, I actually have a little bit more time before my next meeting, so I am going to do some quick makeup. I'm going to use the Tarte Hydro Sealer, and I'm going to kind of use this as both a concealer and a little bit of foundation. I really like this. I think it's a very, like, nice, lightweight concealer that adds some good coverage. Just when I want, like, a little bit of something. And the Fenty Cream Bronzer, this is, like, the prettiest cream bronzer. I love how it melts into the skin. I use the shade Butter Biscuit. I got a little bug bite on my face over the weekend and it is like purple. So I'm gonna try to cover that with just a little bit of concealer. I want to use these today. These are like the coolest little things from Maybelline. This is their shadow blocks. And so literally it's a little square that has three different eyeshadows in it. You get like a light shade, a metallic -y shade, and then a deeper shade. This one is their pinky one. And I also have the nude one. And I just think they're so cute for travel. I just want to put like a tiny bit of this pinky one on my lids because I think it would be really, really cute today. Alright, then we just need a little mascara. I love this one from Ilia right now. I've been trying a couple, but um, this is the one that I keep going back to. Okay, the very last thing. This is my favorite trick. If you've heard of blushed lips, which is like when you get your lips tattooed and it gives you like the perfect pinky lips. That's a little intense for me, but you can just replicate it at home. And all you need is like cream, lip products, and then a good gloss. So I typically like these two shades and what you're going to do is start with the color out on the corner of your lips and start working towards the center um, but not put any pigment actually in the center. So leaving the lip natural in the center gives us a natural looking highlight and then you just top with a little bit of gloss and it's like the prettiest natural lip combo. Okay, I completely switched my outfit. Now I've got on a little white workout tank. This is from Amazon. And then a Free People little shacket, I guess and some Vitality biker shorts. And then I just put like half my hair in braids because I wanted hair out of my face. Um, I might throw this up later. I might leave it like half up, half down like this. I don't know. But anyway, basically now I need to go grocery shopping. I finished my meetings for the day. So it's grocery time, it's laundry time, organizing the house time. And then I have like a bunch of other little work projects I'll be working on throughout the day. So I determined before I go grocery shopping that I actually should get some lunch because I am very bad at grocery shopping when I'm hungry. So we're getting some Chick-fil-A first. And then I think I'm gonna hit up like three different grocery stores. It's going to be a whirlwind grocery day. Okay, I actually found a lot of stuff at Aldi, which was great. However, now I'm a little nervous because it is uh, 98 degrees outside and I have stuff in my car. So I'm gonna try to go quick, but I'm at my favorite grocery store. It's a little local co-op and it's all like locally sourced organic fruits and vegetables meats from farms around the state um and just kind of like a health food store in general i love coming here for my produce for my meat um they have great gluten-free and dairy-free options it's one of the best places for me to find like 
fun foods too um, that fit those dietary requirements. So I always spend a little bit of extra time in here because I just I just love finding new things. So we'll see what we do. And then I think this is gonna be the last stop. I was gonna also go to Target, but I found more than what I needed at Aldi than I thought I was going to. So I don't think I have to make that third stop. So I'll go in there and then we can go back and do a haul. I am back. If you can tell it is hot by the glisten on my face. I look like a glazed donut. But uh, the first thing I need to do is put the groceries away. So I thought I would just do a little grocery haul because honestly, this is a pretty good representation of how I would like restock our fridge. So it's just my husband Charles and I, um, but we both have pretty um, diverse diets, I guess. So he's vegetarian and then I am gluten and dairy free. So we eat a lot of different things. Um, and we need a variety of different options in our house at all times because, yeah, there's different things each of us can and can't eat. So I restocked up on a bunch of things because we are out of a ton of our protein sources, a ton of our snack sources, good lunch options. And then like every week we kind of talk about what we want, like a couple dinners that we want to have. And so I got stuff for that as well. This bag has some snacks in it. I always keep potato chips on hand. If these are new, I haven't tried these yet, but they're a Boulder um, Canyon avocado oil classic sea salt chips. And then these Petal brand uh, jalapeno chips are so good. Both of these are gluten free and these are some of my favorite snacks. Next we have some produce. We almost always keep zucchini and squash in the kitchen because they're so easy to cook with. We love just like throwing these in random pasta dishes. So they were like huge today. So I only got one of each, but sometimes I'll get two of each. And then also I picked up some peaches. I grabbed peaches from the co-op last week and they were so good. So I'm excited. I'm hoping these ones are just as good. Aldi has the best affordable wine selection. If you are 21 and up and you're looking for some fun summer drinks, this brand, it's the P Pacific Fruit Vineyards, has the best like, Listen, if you're a wine person, you might not like these, but they're like super like sweet, fruity wines and they kind of just taste like juice. So I love these for the summer. They have a bunch of different flavors, but my favorites are the peach and the watermelon. Also, I always buy black beans. Aldi is the best place to get them. 70 cents a can. This is an Aldi find that is so good. Technically, I cannot eat this. However, every now and then I will have a little bit of it anyway this is the rosso pesto rosso pesto from the brand priano and it's like a cheese red pesto sauce that you put i put it on top of gnocchi sometimes we put it on top of just regular noodles with a little bit of basil this stuff is so good okay <laughs> this is one of the big aldi bags that i got today so now i have this one which is like the yellow flower one and then i've got the purple one but these are so handy, they hold so much. One thing I picked up is just a frozen pack of burgers. I have a real problem retaining iron and it led to me having to get iron infusions. And so I am trying my hardest to work on incorporating more iron into my diet. One of the easiest ways is red meat and I honestly don't eat it very much. So I just got a frozen pack of these so that I can have them on hand if I want to grill one up to go with the meal or like chop it up and put it in things. I think that's just an easy way that I can try to supplement. Aldi organic bananas, that's where it's at. These are less than a dollar for this whole bundle and they are so good. One of the fruits that I noticed the biggest difference with, whether it's organic or not, is bananas. And I don't know why, but the organic ones are so much more flavorful in my opinion. Okay, also Charles loves to snack on rice cakes, so I picked up the lightly salted kind and the caramel corn rice cake. One of our favorite meals to make is like ginger soy sauce and ginger green beans is the best way to describe it with tofu, so I picked up some green beans. My tip is that if you're gonna get these from Aldi, you need to eat them quickly because they tend to go bad. So like, we'll probably use this bag either tonight or tomorrow night, but like, you wanna eat them quickly after you buy them. I also got some baby spinach from Aldi. I like their box. It is, oh, what in the heck? 
I think I squished my box of spinach and it opened. That's cute. Um, anyway, <laughs> their box is a little bit smaller than what you can get at some places and I find it doesn't go bad as quickly. So I like grabbing spinach from there when I can. Also got some tofu from Aldi to go with the green beans. This is the extra firm kind and I think we've tried this before. This brand's pretty good. Okay, these are fun. This is something I can't eat, but I got for Charles. These are by the brand Butoni, and they are three cheese raviolis made with impossible Italian sausage. I bet these are gonna be delicious. These are just cooked chicken strips, chicken breast strips, so easy to throw into a bunch of different things. Um, and sometimes it's nice when they're already pre-cooked, so you don't have to go through the process of like fully cooking chicken yourself and trimming it and all that. It's just a little bit more convenient. Some gluten-free noodles. I thought these looked good. They're penne noodles, but they're nice and skinny, and I feel like they'd be good with like a pesto sauce or something. I may or may not have bought two packs of gluten-free, dairy-free chocolate chip cookies. If you find this pre-made brand in any of your health food stores, I can confirm they are very good. I picked myself up a little something from the meat counter at the co-op. These are boneless barbecue pork ribs and they looked really good. They were like good sized ribs and they were in a local made hot sauce and they looked, well, it, or sorry, it was a barbecue sauce, um, but they looked delicious. So I'm probably gonna cook these up for myself one night. And then typically like if we do that, if we do a dinner where I'm having something like this, We'll also have a veggie and probably like potatoes and rice. So then Charles has all that to eat. And then I also have some meat with it. Lastly, these look so interesting. I need to know if anyone has tried these. These are smoothie cubes by a brand called Evie. No sugar, plant-based, gluten-free, 88% organic, seven grams of protein. Um, and they're allegedly blender free. So I feel like I might still use a blender, but essentially they come in these little dials and you run the wheel underwater, pop the cubes into a bottle, top it off with some liquid, um, and then you just let it melt for 20 minutes, shake it up and you're good to go. So I feel like you could, like if you didn't want to wait the 20 minutes, I'm sure you could blend it. Um, but yeah, these are two of the different flavors. They had three. This one is the sapphire and it's banana, apple, pineapple, cauliflower, a bunch of things like that. And then this one is predominantly banana, pear, and spinach. This is very exciting because last week on the first vlog back, one of the things that we did was go and like officially report to the social security office my name change from the wedding and I just got my new card today. So I officially have a new last name and it's super exciting. I am still using the newly named box to go through all the name change processes. It's a lot of work <laughs> um, and the, like getting the social security card is just the first step, but it's very exciting because it actually feels like official now. I'm back chilling in the rocking chair this afternoon. I have been on the phone with various banks and credit card companies um, trying to get my information updated uh, because I just don't want to be in a weird limbo where my government documentation says one name and my financial stuff says another name. I feel like I want to get those lined up as quickly as possible. So I'm trying to do that, but in the midst of this, I switched banks literally last week. Um, so I kind of just got this account and now I'm changing my name. So it was a little bit of a thing, but actually not that bad. Um, so trying to get all that done and switching stuff over to the new bank. Lots of like unexciting tasks going on, but that's what I've been up to this afternoon. I am about to head out to the gym. As you can hear, it's very noisy in here because the AC has been running all day. It is a million degrees outside. I've been doing laundry all day. I've got through two loads. My third is in the dryer and my fourth, I need to move to the dryer after the washer is done. Um, yeah, it's been a busy, productive day. I got a bunch of stuff transferred as far as name stuff goes, but I also wanted to share, the whole reason I started this clip is because of this, these cups. Okay, 
So if you've been on Instagram, you follow a bunch of like the typical influencers um, or like lifestyle bloggers on there. Everybody raves about those stinking Stanley cups. They're $40, okay? They're expensive and they're also impossible to get. They sell out in seconds. And I was looking for other options because I actually did want more of a stainless steel tumbler, something with the straw so I would drink more water and I came across these. These are from Arctic. They're 20 ounces, so they're much more manageable to hold. Still a lot of water. They are a quarter of the price. <laughs> like, not even close. They, I think I got these on sale for 18 bucks. They come in a bunch of different colors. And I actually like the look of these a little bit better. I just think it's so much more manageable. It can be hot or cold. So you could put coffee in here and like flip the lid. Or you can get straws. I love it and all the colors of these are available and you can get them on Amazon. So yeah, I'll leave these linked down below if you're like me and you're like, I'm not really interested in the $40, but the idea of a water tumbler does sound intriguing. These are my pick, okay? A last thing is I'm running out the door. If you've never had the <laughs> ABC bars from Trader Joe's, they are so stinking good. I'm gonna need to be making like weekly trips to Trader Joe's, which is not very close to me. Actually, can you order from Trader Joe's and have it delivered? That might be worth it. Anyway, these are um, basically like, they're almond butter cocoa bars. They're just a little granola bar, but it's like a chocolatey outside with almond butter on the inside. And uh, it's just a little like snack bar, but they're gluten-free and they're dairy-free. Actually, they're gluten-free and vegan, so yeah. I love these, they're an obsession. Just finished up at the gym. I'm full on tomato face because it is so hot in there always. For some reason, like a lot of the classes that I go to are in part of the gym that like, it seems like the air conditioning doesn't work or it's on a different air conditioning than the rest of the gym. It's so hot. But anyway, done with that. Gonna head home, have some dinner, watch some NBA tonight. That's the plan. <laughs>